The Lord impressed upon my mind the importance of the name he decreed for his church, even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Thus, the name of the church is not negotiable. When the Savior clearly states what the name of his church should be, and even precedes his declaration with, thus shall my church be called, he's serious. And if we allow nicknames to be used, he is offended. To remove the Lord's name from the Lord's church is a major victory for Satan. When we discard the Savior's name, we are subtly disregarding all that Jesus Christ did for us, even his atonement. If we as a people and as individuals are to have access to the power of the atonement of Jesus Christ, we must clearly acknowledge him as the source of that power. We can begin by calling his church by the name he decreed. My dear brothers and sisters, I promise that if we will do our best to restore the correct name of the Lord's church, he whose church this is, will pour down his power and blessings upon the heads of the Latter-day Saints, the likes of which we have never seen.